Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we're going to be playing a game called Blood Waves. It's been provided to us by Sometimes You. It is actually a free product provided by the developers for us to check out for the first time. So let's take a little look at what it is. Ah, right. Jumping in. Blood Waves. Okay. Now I just realized what it is. It's a zombie horde mode with guns. Okay. Light Road Games, let's see what you got. Um, it's not the first time I've seen one of these game types. Usually it's inside a very enclosed arena space. There's multiple doors, doors open, zombies spawn, creatures spawn. You have a limited amount of weapons. You have to survive as long as you can. Um, sure, I mean, we've, we've enjoyed this game's type since... Hey, knock off Laura. Uh, we've enjoyed these game types since, um, what, Smash TV and stuff. And um, I'm not perturbed by these games in any way, shape, or form. I'm just gonna turn down some of the sounds because uh, games like these they tend to have i mean th that's a standard that's a standard unity kind of like menu screen isn't it that is loud that is loud even in terms of like main menu screen i'm going to turn that down even more because like i have my tv turned down and that's loud right that that's going to be better i'm sure the, the rest of it's going to be a whack Let's try this out. Let's see what it is. Um, sometimes you you do release some interesting games. Sometimes this ain't one. This isn't going to be one of them. Just uh, there is thousands upon thousands of these, and none of them are really good. They're all kind of bit naff, to be honest. And other games, other better games, have these kind of things as modes in them. So, interface basics, hello, that's a lot of text, health and stamina, that's all I need to know about, survive, oh god, and literally just transparent PNGs drawn on the screen, cash and ammo, your UI, oh, no, 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 change weapons, L1, quick change left, right, aiming L2, R2. Like, the way your aiming changes as well. Maybe switch to actual fire down the barrel. Oh, so floaty. Um. Um. Oh, and there's drift on your hand pistol. As you actually shoot it, it actually drifts up. Better off just kept firing the pistol. Oh, you have limited ammo too between rounds. Wonderful. And they drop money, of course. Because you can't have this so that you actually have. You have to have like a. a store where you buy certain weapons and go like there's an optimized way to play through this it's like no it's not it's just buy the most recent weapon at the most amount of ammo you can get or be very sparing with the ammo that you do have uh, so we've seen three zombie types since the game started how many have they got first how delightful Yeah, so you use the cash and you can upgrade weapons and buy skills. Let's take a look at what the skill tree is. Oh, please. Do you need to jitter whenever this is all you're doing? Resistant damage, more health, more stamina, repair, headshots. Uh, resistance acid, health regeneration, heal hit points whenever you use, sprint, loot, get more items, vulnerability, roll, resistance to explosion armor. Well, we got a skill point anyway, so we might as well take one. So, more loot, I suppose. Oh, right. So even if you have one skill point, you have to spend it on the base stage ones. Right.
don't know why I took the one that's actually going to make me let play this game for longer, to be honest. Um, you can upgrade a gun. Wonderful. Let's see what guns we can afford first. And you have to buy them individually. Um, 6,000. So we have 1,700. So you got a pistol. And you can't really buy any of the guns until you've done a fair few levels of this. Uh, can I just suicide myself by... Oh, no, you just buy turrets. 10 grand. Very nice. Same thrower, 3.5 grand. Bike wall, 250. Uh, turret at 1,800. Oh, that's right. Deadly spinner at 1,800. So literally the only thing you can grab is Barricade. Might as well buy one of those. I'm assuming the Barricade actually like decays and breaks down over time just. And we're going to spend our point on the pistol since it's the only thing we have. Really. Oh, you can upgrade it. Durability. Yep, it's durability does go down. As expected. You get seven ammo, seven shots for a hundred dollars. Right. So, but for... I'm just gonna buy the rest, spend the rest on bots. So I upgraded its damage, obviously, so it means it should take less shots to kill. But also increase its capacity, but there's no way you're gonna have 300. Well, let's see how well they can get through that barrier. Because literally they're going to just walk straight through these gaps, I'm sure. Did I get hurt by them? Nope, good. don't actually hurt them. They just block them from getting in. But you can't get past, I can't hit them through the barrier. Oh, that's just awful. Give me the gun back. Ay. So, we are still at three different zombie types so far. Haven't gotten uh, any more interesting than that. It, the game is like what I expected it to be. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, there they are. Try the knife again. So you have to actually wait for stamina. 
So you have a stamina bar for your knife attacks. And the knife does bugger all damage. <laughs> Alright. Well encouraged. That guy barely looks like a zombie, just like a whole a whole lot of just Dudes, over and over again. Same three models. Oh, God. It doesn't even matter where I was shooting them, really. I mean, headshots are the only thing probably that's got a little bit of a difference to them. Everywhere else is just body shot, body shot. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh... Let the pain end. So much fun. And you cannot remove barriers that are already been placed. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, all right. And you can't run forever because of stamina bar. Why would you even think of buying any rapid fire weapon in this game? Because you just you'd be out of cash instantly. That's a whole lot of awful going on here. I want to buy... Uh, is there a turret I can buy? Yeah, so I can buy the turret. I'm going to buy one of the turrets because I have just enough cash for it. And 1400 What, what can I get for 1400 Something boomy? Anything boomy? No, nothing boomy. Yeah. Uh. Right. What are we getting here? This kind for repairs? Can you get repairs? Doesn't seem like it. Can be needed. Less stamina lost for melee attack. One point available. Should I drop it into the gun, which is going to cost me money to actually keep refilling? Or drop it into the one thing that's going to just basically be my only choice, weapon of choice? And then we just drop everything else. Into the cult. Well, let's get started then. Build mode. Our one turret. The worst thing is, I'd rather actually have that right here. Right against the wall, so literally it's the only thing they can actually... Problem is, I'm willing to bet that turret will only shoot in a straight line. But we'll see. Right. Let's start a new wave. Where are they coming from? And I always forget there's only seven bolts in that clip. Stop hitting the turret, you ass butt. I'm gonna force him into actually a fire. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. 
they just say fighting the barriers because they're in front of them? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. See, there's, there's no difference to shooting them in the leg or shooting them in the head. It literally is the same stun cycle that they go through. So, like, if you like, try and think to knock them down, put them through the leg, nah. And the fact they're just shooting at them through the wall. I'm behind him and I still got hit. <laughs> Get them to run into the walls. <laughs> oh god, that was... Again, a not very entertaining round. Like, they, like, I mean, essentially, it's, this is it. This is the entirety of the game. Escalate, escalate, escalate until you die. But you saw that I had to go hand to hand. And that, as long as I just keep dumping stuff into my stamina and my machete and keep my healing up, I'm not going to get killed by anything there. So, uh, what do we do next? 20% um, more stamina, I suppose? Or do I heal faster? Twenty percent more stamina. That way, I can hit for longer. Don't have to worry about it. Upgrade the machete again, because <laughs> uh, can you upgrade it anymore? No, that's it. Oh, it's actually uh, that's it. Maximizes it. Oh, it requires two upgrade points. I have to wait before I can get that one upgraded. No worries. In that case, we'll upgrade the turret that we already have. Why not? Vulnerable to zombies. There's specific zombies that it's actually vulnerable to. <laughs> and buy more turrets. There we go. Two more turrets. Um, why not? Uh, one, two walls, and then the rest in bullets. <laughs> Only 49. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna actually be. I'm gonna run out very, very quickly in this. I might just let myself die. Um, right. Build. So we need to put more turret. Turret. And then I go in here and I do this. I put a bar here right in front of it. <laughs> But the thing is, I need to give it enough space because they'll run into it and then they'll actually... I want to, I want to kind of trap them in it. There we go. Boom. Start new wave. <laughs> this is going to be awful. do to repair during the round? No? Well, there goes one of the turrets already. <laughs> it's all over, folks. It's all over. Alright, screw that. Onto the gun. Of course, I have to remember to reload. Turrets firing at the zombies 
take that many shots to kill him. Meanwhile, like that's just awful. Oh god, <laughs> and that's two of the turrets down. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, it's all going to be over. I've got no bots left. Oh. You are dead. Yes, try to remind people of Dark Souls because that's what you're aiming for. But, um, wow. Oh, man. So then that looks like a, this is the, even the menu screens look like they've literally just like defaulted from ones that we've already seen in so many other places. If you can't, if you can't go to the ball, I mean, this is, this is actually just a, a, a little thought out to anybody who actually does develop games like this. Um, Put a little bit of effort into the UI elements. Hide the fact, hide the UI, hide the fact that you are literally just using the basics of things. Now, this essentially feels like somebody took very generic animations, didn't bother with actually doing anything other than grabbing a few assets. This feels like an asset flip of a fucking game. Uh, fuck this game. Uh, Blood Waves, no thank you. Don't buy this game, don't support it, don't encourage sometimes you to get more of it. I'm sure they've done well to actually, like they essentially they're just pumping games out one after another. I don't think sometimes you make most of these games, they actually do just kind of uh, buy the games or take them from other developers and then publish them as a publisher and probably get a decent fee for doing so. But whoever it is who actually originally created this game, you must have paid them money and you shouldn't you, like you shouldn't consider this actually a release of your game like this is a terrible terrible way to present yourself um options there's no who, who made this game so sometimes you publishing it but is there any other information i can get from it mm. blood waves that's that's uh, i'm going to go and look this up this is uh it's not this isn't just to be mean or anything this is just for the fact that i'm going like right if you're going to actually if you're if companies are going to go through sometimes you to actually make a game like to actually release a game i want to know who it is that's making them oh god blood waves for nintendo switch is actually is it out on the switch as well it is it is actually out on the Switch. Oh God! And so like, some kid's gonna buy this game. Some kid's gonna love this game though as well. I don't know. Like the the this kind of thing. Uh, we're we're in 2019, and these kind of games. Uh, if anywhere they deserve to be on Steam. That's that's great. Like, I mean, essentially, it is literally a dumping ground. But I'm really really concerned about these kind of games just kind of popping into stores. I really hope that uh, Sony have a good way of delineating this stuff because the the under four pounds section of the PlayStation Store is getting bigger and bigger every single day, and there's a mixture of really good games being sat right next to absolutely awful games, and I don't really like that. But what am I to complain? Options are there. Pretty much, if you if 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 the marketplace is infinitely large, then there's always going to be space for it. So what 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 is my problem? To be honest, absolutely none. Oh, it shouldn't be my concern. I'm not. I'm not upset about it. But it's just one of those things where that game is not cool. Just uh, I'm. Uh, I've played dozens of games like it over the years, and most of them have actually had a little bit more polish than that. There, there, there's. It's 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 a mobile game at best. It's a acid flip at worst. You know that that's essentially that's the only way I could describe it. I'm um, sorry to be as harsh as I was, but. I, I wasn't having fun there. I was laughing at awkwardness of control. I was laughing at the bizarre building and positioning of a Tomb Raider-esque wave fighter of zombies. The fact that we're sitting watching the same three zombies over and over again as well, and we went through three waves before we saw it, we didn't, still didn't see anything different. 
please don't make games like this anymore. If you're going to make a game like this, do something interesting. Don't like this. This really did feel like somebody bought pre-made assets and just threw it together as an experiment. This isn't something that you put out for public use. This is something that you test, figure out, and then go and make something cool with it. Um, a thousand different ways you could have maybe done this. Um, instead of actually using generic UI, instead of using the same generic three enemies, you could have actually had it so that you end up fighting a round, or like there were two rounds and a boss round, then you actually had to go, right, I have to build specifically to survive this thing is going to bowl rage through. You could have picked any other objects to actually have in it. It's... <sighs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm essentially play tested. That's absolutely fine. But I'm not going to actually sit and give you better ideas for how this could be done. It's just, it's dozens of these games. Try to stand out in some way, shape or form, please. Uh, sometimes you, you got a dud in your hands. So um, thank you very much for the code, but I did not enjoy this one. It happens. It happens. Uh, if you have any thoughts or opinions on this game, if you think I was talking out of my arse, if you paid for this game and you really regret it, contact Sony or Nintendo, whoever it is you purchase it from, and get your money back uh, as soon as you can. If you're in the UK, you have 14 days, and you're in the States, you're kind of screwed. Um, but outside of that, please, 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 please do something for yourselves and don't bother with this. Just watch this video again, just uh, if you feel like you need any more of that game. <sighs> feel awful um yeah so don't play this on that note uh do watch me but don't play this please uh thank you very much for watching the actual chat videos on the channel i'm I, I don't like putting up videos where i just kind of hate on a game but that was that wasn't fun to even that was like uh, this wasn't fun to hate this was just exasperating so don't play it I'm sure somebody out there loves this game type and if you have, actually, do you know what? That's the one thing I ask. If people have, know this game type, there's ways of enemies, uh, self-defense, building your own def defense, this kind of game. If you know a really good one, a really, really good one, put it in the comments below, link to it. Tell me about it so I can go and play it so I can go like, look, here's a really good example why you shouldn't do it this way. Um, because lazy acid flips are a bane of our existences and we don't need any more of them. Uh, this is stuff that you do to train yourself on how to make your next actual game. Don't, don't put this out to public. Don't. Just don't. This is shouldn't be. This is the reason why Steam Greenlight went away. We don't need this anymore. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this stuff on the channel, if you want to see more stuff like this, I hope you kind of don't. There actually is a list of crappy games that are actually in my uh, YouTube videos that will be popping up on the screen somewhere. If you actually want to see more stuff from me, then please do make sure to check the descriptions underneath the videos because there will be a number of links there on ways you can actually support this channel. Uh, the most simplest one is to always hit the subscribe and notification bell so you know when new stuff comes out. Watch it, share it, and tell your friends. And if you happen to actually be one of those people who just likes to pay directly to make sure people are making stuff so they don't have to worry about AdSense or anything else, then patreon.com forward slash pastiche of skin welcomes you. And there is a lot more stuff there to be seen besides. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.